to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next 48 hours. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, big cat wave. Let's dive in as you kick your way into your next 48 hours. Plenty of planetary negotiations are afoot, darling dears. Mercury in Libra, one of your home signs, one of your homies, mm, is in a powerful opposition to Jupiter in Aries, shedding light on issues surrounding your personal truth and where you're seeking justice. If you've been holding back emotionally, look at, look at things from every angle and take a stand, even if you don't know what it will look like on the other side mm -hmm. the energy is chilling in the fixed signs fixed signs are taurus leo Aqua sorry taurus leo scorpio and aquarius mm -hmm. it speaks about being stubborn as well as being persistent darling dear it also speaks about you being unstoppable at this moment in time being persistent darling dear and respected even the haters have got to respect you. You've got your grind on. You've turned, learned to be what? Dependable on thyself, darling there. Thyself. Love it. I don't hate it. It also speaks about what financial matters and career opportunities can come back around for you over the next 48 hours. Fist bump as we dive in and get your rune to see what's going on. I'm going to use the amethyst. the blank rune of destiny make a wish darling dear set your intention and know that you deserve everything divine is working on your behalf darling dears we just spoke about finances and career mm -hmm. up to your intellectual she's naive i see love it i don't hate it let's get your ancestral message can you use the wisdom the witch's wisdom oracle Energies for the air signs for the next 48 hours. Good golly and gosh, prosperity is afoot. I'm taking that. Mm. Prosperity and abundance. I love it. Base of the deck, tarot cards. Somebody may be even watching you with the tarot cards or you're using the, the um, assistance of the cards to make a true decision. What's been highlighted to me is the tower moment. Tower is also about what the change. And this is also what the watchtower I believe it's the Watchtower of the North, darling dear. Somebody's going through it, darling dear. And it's what? The Dark Knight of the Soul. It also speaks about what? Transformation, darling dear. Changes afoot for you over the next 48 hours. The Skrillas is looking good. Pentacles, I mean, Pentacles can, yeah, Pentacles can represent many things. Abundance comes in many forms. Knowledge, um, a promotion, right? power, entrepreneurship, your health, all of the, the tangible stuff, something that you can feel, big cat, fist bump. Right, let's get a deck and see what's going on for you for the next 48 hours. Base of your deck, we've got the strength card, big cat Leo energy. This is about you not being tempted off your flip-flop, drama-free, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Also, leave, moving away from things that would tempt you in the past, they no longer what? are on your level. Mm -hmm. It speaks about your, your spiritual strength, darling dear, and how you care for others and realizing that true friendship, right, has to be earned. You can't just bandy it around like taffy. It also speaks about you standing in your authority, showing no weakness, holding your gangster, being like Cool Hand Luke. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ten of Cups, darling dears. It also speaks about generational curses. It also speaks about what the removal of said generational curses. Why? You have a happy home. This is about emotional fulfillment, feeling more balanced, darling dears. Ten of Cups in the upright, I might add, is represented by um, Pisces energy as well as Mars energy, darling dears. 
alignment and fulfillment. Somebody's also about to be starting a family or you'll be getting news of someone being pregnant on your behalf. Or could you be the one that's the pregnantee? Mm -hmm. It also speaks about a loyal community that you're bringing around you, darling dear. Having removed generational curses, understanding your inner child wounds had to be conquered. Seems like you've done that. Love it. Clarify the Ten of Cups, please. Emotional fulfillment, darling dear. Being in alignment because you've got the badass alchemist ways. Divine is talking about travel. Some of you may be traveling. It also speaks about moving with speed. But it also speaks about knowing that you are what? Calling it down from the 5D into the 3D, darling dears. The magician in the upright. Mm -hmm. A call for action, darling dear. Realizing that you, you are powerful. And what's that? What's my affirmation? I am a powerful, resourceful manifester. Use that all the time, darling dears. If doubt should creep into your mind, realize what you've built so far, darling dears, and what you intend to build going forward. You have all of the tools. I told you, you have those badass alchemist ways. It's about you directing your intentions on what you want to transform or form in your life. The magician is also what? The master of speed as well as a short trip. Somebody's going on a short trip, darling dear. It also speaks about logical thinking and writing. Be careful of what you say as well. Taste it on your lips before you utter these words. And that also speaks about your next move, darling dear. We tell no one our next move, what's going on in our romances, or what's in our wallets. Pocketbooks, handbags, or purses. Clarify the magician, please. Thank you. Clarified by the strength card, Major Arcana, you got the badass alchemist ways and you're strong, spiritually strong. This is leaning on your inner understanding, darling dear, to what boys to your, your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is your energy, your drive and your willpower to refuse situations, darling dears. That is not what for your mental health, which is your wealth, your emotional stability. All of your cards are coming out in the upright. Whoa! Look at this. Ace of Pentacle. This is a loss of finance. Somebody's also going to be leaving a job, darling dear. Something that they worked on. Or taking a pay cut in order to find the happiness. Maybe that's what it is. You're taking a new position, which will be a bit of a pay cut. Because it is about careers and finance. I told you, there's an opposition between Mercury in Libra and um, Jupiter in, in Aries. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. This also speaks about health, darling dear. Somebody needs to get a health check. Mm -hmm. Pentacles is represented by Earth energy. Okay, Earth. Earth. I'm thinking of Saturn. Something about Saturday. Came out in the other read as well. The bona fide or bona fakey. Go and watch that read, darling dears. Yeah. But it's going to be what? what if you're having um, a change in your health or your mental health, you're about to what? Come through that swimmingly, darling dear. Someone was judging your ability. Though they, they were judgy, darling dears. They was banking on the fact that you'd always what? Pour into them. Well, this is you what? Packing up your kit and caboodle, no longer giving your finances to a situation. It also speaks about the lending of money, darling dears. If you're going to lend that money... You will be releasing yourself from the person you lent it to, darling dear, because they will be hiding from you. Sun energy also speaks about what community. It speaks about um, party celebrations, mm -hmm. as well as enlightenment, darling dear, to what's going on. Again, this speaks about a holiday. Somebody's going to be choosing not to go on a short trip with someone, darling dear, because you're a happiness expert. And you know that this person comes with the tower of the DNS. What's that? The dark night of the soul, darling dear. So 2017 and big cat rule number 57. Allow the, the Debbie Downers. Mm -hmm. And the Bobby's going nowhere. Yeah. This is also a coming out season for you, darling dear. This is solo dolo like the boys or girls on the pole. It also speaks about romance. The beginning stages of a romance for some of you over the next 48 hours, right? After coming through a situation that was not spiritually guided. A situation that lacked inspiration, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Face of the deck. Whoa! He was dealing with a whole page. There's two... 
a whole page on its face, page of cups. This is someone who is a liar, darling dear. Somebody who's emotionally manipulative. A situation that your back is now turned to. Leaving that situation behind. A situation where there was a, gl there was a glass ceiling, darling dear. You decided to break the glass because you found that it's an emergency for you, darling dear. This is bureaucracy. This is lying. This is gossiping. This is bad intentions. Mm -hmm. And it also speaks about what? Um, somebody, a pre something to do with a pregnancy, darling dear. Somebody realizing that they're not happy with the person that they're actually carrying a child for, got progeny with, darling dear. Mm -hmm. A manipulator. Yeah. And try to take your strength and your mind. Well, guess what? They didn't win. They're not winning. You have the what? Runestone of destiny, darling dear. Mm. Clarify the magician, please. Mm. Coming out of betrayal and lies they were told. And it also speaks about a, a hospital visit, some kind of medical checkup, darling dear. Next to the strength card. You thought you was going down, Bobby Brown. But you're what? You're a hypochondriac, blood. You was creating all of these things in your mind. You have to go and find it out for real, darling dear. Stop going on what? Foolishness. Be a key. Don't be, just be a keyboard gangster. If you feel you need to get medical medical assistance, go for it, darling dears. This is also coming out of a situation, a season of illness or lack of focus. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This is about opportunities, offers coming towards you, darling dear, with the Wheel of Fortune, a new beginning. The Knight of Cups also represents somebody with that love to offer the cup to everyone. Well, that situation is dead. You're no longer taking that cup of opium and cognitive dissonance. Clarify the strength card, please. Mm. Yeah, reason to celebrate. Celebrating with those like-minded souls, people that truly care and pour into you, darling dears. It also speaks about you're going to be hearing of someone being displaced. They, they need, they, they're wanting some help from your Skrilla.com. I told you, only lend what you can afford to lose, darling dear. Remember I told you that? Nine of swords in the upright. Clarity of mind. You're, you're also choosing to only be around those that have what? All of their emotions intact. This is feminine energy. Because why? When you're around people that have a raised frequency, darling, the opportunities come towards you. This is why when people gamble and lose a big cat, they realize that everything left with you, the luck, the fate and the destiny. Because you're an earth angel. This also speaks about difficulties that you've overcome. It's been a journey, darling dears. And it's about the journey, not the destination. What's this that turned its back? Yeah. Self-introspection brought self-improvement. It also speaks about standing out for being different, darling dear. A lot of people want you to fail in whatever it is that you're focusing on at this moment in time. They want you to go down. Mm -hmm. People that you've already turned your back on emotionally because it was emotional drudgery, darling dear. Going through the same rinse and repeat. This is moving on from, from traumas. Moving on from uncertainty. And again, it's about travel. Someone's going on a short trip. But they're going to choose not to go with whom they chose to go with in the first place. Do you get me? Yeah. Page of Wands. And that's a good idea. It also speaks about a message. Some kind of message and notification coming towards you. About a partnership. Could be a job. It could be a new contract. Gemini energy. Sun card. Clarify the sun card. Yes, B of B. You've got no emotion to offer to situations that are what? Arguing with your hairline. Yeah. Situations that you are no longer that you no longer feel that you need to have any control. This is the releasing. This is also the re turning off um, house keys, selling of a home, right? And leaving a job. You're leaving a situation that was emotional turmoil. And you feel good about that. Very good. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to greatness, darling dear. This could be entrepreneurship, but it also speaks about being recognized as a master craftsperson in your field. Online, darling dear. This is also my marriage card, my partnership card. You're going to meet somebody on this short trip. Yeah. Hierophant on its face. This is about you, what? Letting down your guard and trusting in the most high. Mm -hmm. This and that, air sign. This and that. More messages for the air signs for the next 48 hours. Yeah, a back front neck tab, darling, dear. 
with the fake ID. Somebody that you know or someone coming towards you with what? Addictive. And they're an addict, darling, they're addicted to porn, SEX, cheating, lying, all of the above, darling, they're. Mm -hmm. Someone is seeing you as a big, fat, missed opportunity. Well, good. They need to watch you from the nosebleed section as they suck it up with the straw of life in the plastic seats. Somebody bound for the spiritual short bus as your true love's first kiss appears. Some people will be going to union or meeting their true love's first kiss over the next 48 hours. Equal give and take, darling dear. Equal give and take. Somebody's also realizing how many opportunities they missed out on being addicted to people that were fakers, or darling dear. But divine has gifted you with the strength card again, big cat Leo energy. Don't be tempted into situations that broke you, and we don't go backwards, only forwards, in the words of Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Yeah, intimate guard India next to the strength card. And Skrilla.com. So if it's a new job, entrepreneurship, something's about to take off for you in a big way, darling India. Skrilla.com is your money, your pocketbook, your handbag. It also speaks about World Wide Web. I told you. Trust in the what? The unseen. Divine has a hand in your life, as you saw with the Rune of Destiny. On that note, and drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, Todd love to my Patreon, or simply come back here. And as I always say... Don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big Cat Wave. Libra. Aquarius. Gemini. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Namaste. Cat Cat.